Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're having another reading. Um, this is an updated reading since I figure out that um, the most viewed um, video on my channel just hit uh, 10k views and that video is actually about um, a f basically Filipino actors. Uh, their names are uh, Donnie Panglinan and Bel Mariano. Um, so I did a relationship reading uh, on them uh, last February uh, 2023. And that reading really... Um, uh, basically hit the uh, 10k already quite recently so in in celebration commemoration and also uh one of their fans or viewers of this channel um also requested for an updated reading uh so i'm good sh basically i was very direct with the cards i asked the cards Will Bell or will Donnie Pang Pangilinan and Bell Mariano end up like getting married in the future? So just being direct so that you know their fans will will have will see some if there are possibility that they have uh they'll be ending ending and uh, their relation will end up in marriage or something. So I just let the card tell the story for me. Um I'm gonna let you be the judge as well. Uh, about the, the, the cards that we see here. So, um, there are two parts of my reading. Generally, I read, the first part is that I will be providing some of the meanings of each Lenormand card, uh, which is the white one or which are the white ones. Um, so I have another deck of card that I use, which is the tarot. The tarot is, uh, basically a, a, um, the cards that I'd use to um, basically are clarifiers or for us to have more context on the reading. So anyway, let's proceed. Before before we proceed up to reading, please do like the subscribe, uh, like the like button, and subscribe to the channel if you wish to see more of uh, celebrity readings. Well, whichever. Uh, you know celebrity that's quite famous right now for this uh for this reading is a filipino i do read about korean actors or k-pops uh also american actors or politicians for that matter uh, let me know if you have any requests down in the subs uh the comment section below so let's start with the actual reading i'm gonna be um Providing meanings of the cards from uh, from the top row, left to right. The first card that we have there for the Lenormand is the child card. So this could represent a child or something, uh, the fresh start, something small, something immature, youthful, innocent, um, inexperienced, and whatnot, so, so on and so forth. Um... The next card is the mice card. Mice cards represent, you know, eating away, destruction, decay. It could mean stress, anxiety, worry, fear, small problems. Uh, the third card is a ring. A ring, because this is more of the, um, you know, relationship reading about marriage and all. But it could also, ring, ring could represent marriage, but it could also represent um, commitment, contracts, and promises. So we'll, we'll see in the second part of the reading what is this all about. So let's move on to the second row. The first uh, card in the second row is the lily. Lily may represent an uh, older person. Um, it could also mean uh, a wise uh, older person, established. It could mean longevity or it could also mean sex or sexuality, maturity. Um, that's the lily. Next card on the second row is the tower. Now, the tower represents, um, basically, 
a business or corporation, something tall, um, a school, a building, a huge tall building can also mean that. Uh, let's move on to the third card. On the second row, we have the bear that represents uh, a boss or a manager or something big and strong and powerful. Uh, short-tempered or strong, uh, their strength there. So that's the bear. Let's move on to the third row. The third row, uh, the first card there is the anchor. The anchor represents being anchored, being stable. Uh, it also means um, persistence, long lasting, uh, faithful, re uh, restraint, security, durability, and something anchored. Uh, the second card on the last row, we have the fish. The fish uh, represents spending or receiving money, commerce, wealth, finances, in basically money, money wise or business. Um, the last card of the uh, third row is the whip. Now, the whip could denotes like opposition, arguments, um, punishment, ob uh, objection. Uh, it could mean it could mean objecting, strife, or bitter disagreement. It could mean fiscal, uh, fiscal movement or exercise so those are the meaning of the lemon cards uh, that we see there so yep um so you can basically see that there is an element element there of business uh in the reading so because they are being paired in shows um they're like a love team or you know they're they portray love uh, love interests or in movies and shows uh, that's why we see a lot of uh, cars about business we have the tower and the boss or the bear um, it could mean that their relationship is really anchored or being really started or uh, surrounded by or influenced by the the industry that they have. I'm not sure. I'm not really a fan of of these actors, Bell and and Donnie. I'm not. I don't know them. Uh, for that fact, um, their personal lives. I know that they are uh, actors and they they star in romantic comedies, teeny boppers, and they're quite successful in this uh, in this shows. So those are the meaning of the cards and how I see somewhat see how the reading would go. But let's see if we combine the cards. So we're moving on to the second part of the reading, which is a card combination. Now let's start with the first column. So if you see there the child, the lily, and the anchor, so basically, uh, based on the meanings that I've uh, uh, said earlier, most likely the child is means something uh, innocent, immature, youthful, um, irresponsible, inexperienced. So I check up the the, uh, the ages of these actors. So I I googled. Uh, their age, Belle is 21 years old, uh, Donnie is 25 years old. So there's a, a, a quite number of years of uh, age gap. So I believe the child could represent Belle's or being youthful and mature and experienced. Um, her card or this card is paired with the tower card, which means disaster, upheaval, sudden change. Maybe there's something... Um, Disasters, disasters, or something really s changes uh, with uh, with Bell uh, being uh, the fact that the, she is uh, young and youthful and innocent and irresponsible or immature, for that matter. So that's what we see in the first uh, pair of cards there. So the next uh, card in the row is Bell in relation to the Lily. If you heard the, if you remember the meaning of this, it's an older person, calm, established, longevity. Could also mean sex, sexuality, maturity. So maybe because Don is one, Donnie is uh, twenty five years old. Is twenty five years old. Uh, he he may be um, more mature, and he may be inclined to mature activities, mature thinking, mature you know when it comes to sexuality. Uh, that is uh, 
the the meaning of that that she's he's older um and this lily is paired with seven of wands seven of wands means um standing up for yourself defending yourself and protecting your territory so maybe donnie is now he's more on you know he's more experienced he's more um older than bell he is acting as the protector or protecting himself and bell could be the the reading could mean that okay or the cards could mean that um the third column or sorry the third uh card in this first column is the anchor the anchor again means um Resistant, long-lasting, faithful, restraint, security, durability, uh, something anchored. Um, there is some degree of faithfulness, stability between these two, that uh, the youthfulness, the disastrous <laughs> youthfulness of Bell and the older, more a little bit mature uh, uh, person of Donnie, which is more, he's more protected, uh, more protective. Uh, or being protective of their relationship or their being of their character of themselves um there's some degree of faithfulness and longevity and stability in that structure and uh the anchor is paired with strengths um that means conf confidence and self-confidence perhaps the 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 fact that they are um there is longevity when it comes to this relationship um there is self-confidence or self confidence on that uh that they are um long lasting or their relationship is long lasting there's persistence uh there's some restraint security and durability on on this uh, partnership or relationship that could be the meaning of that uh, but I can see that there is something sudden changes that will happen some sudden change will happen to Bell or their innocence or youthfulness that could be the case on the first column so let's move on to the second column we see the mice like I mentioned earlier um, I feel or I sense that this is more of stress anxiety and worry and fear and there's some small problem um related to the next card below which is tower which is more on the business side or corporation maybe the the the, the company that they're in or the 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 management company or i know they're part of i bet uh, abscbn there are some worries and some fear uh regarding that in relation to the fish there which is money or finances there are worries about the corporation and uh finances so the mice is paired with the star card so the the stress anxiety worry fear and small problem there is some kind of faith and uh you know positivity renewal uh, rejuvenation uh basically uh they're hoping and they're they're still f you know hoping and uh praying that that uh everything would be okay you know there's there's stress and even though they're they're worried there should there there's still some positivity they're looking uh, at the positive side they're uh making sure that they are well rested and rejuvenated and all this uh stress and anxiety that they feel um in relation to the tower company um it means that the, this tower is paired with the three of cups. The three of cups means community, celebration, group of events. Maybe uh, they'll they'll be more sociable, be out and about with the you know partying uh, with people or in the community. And uh, perhaps ABCBN, I, b I believe they're part of that uh, network. So. Um, so it could mean that they're going to be more sociable and group events and celebration and whatnot now when it comes to the fish uh, like i mentioned this means spending receiving money commerce wealth and finances business money um there are because it's paired with the moon moon is uncertainty and complexity and confusion there could 
be some issue when it comes to that or they're fearful of there's uncertainty when it comes to finances because I believe ABCBN is not really a very stable uh, company right now because of political reasons and uh, uh, they're not they don't have their their franchise anymore so they're partnering with other uh, networks um, so I, I think they're the worry the mice is in relation to uh, being part of that corporation and the finances because they're not certain that they'll have a job or the, the job is uh, stable, you know, which is understandable. Being in the entertainment business, there's no stability. You'll be number one uh, this day and next day you'll be to be replaced with someone else so that's basically the the truth in the industry uh they're young they should be able to you know uh take advantage of their popularity they're quite popular i mean the fact that their my video or my reading video has reached 10k and that's the only um the next video is i believe is around 4k or 3k um but that reading is about uh, BTS or no it's about a Korean actor and then B BTS uh, readings so the fact that we they have a lot of fans they can definitely take advantage uh, take advantage of that because they're they're quite popular right now um, so hope that uh, you know uh, they, they they certainly have success in their future um, I know on the second column, we you see some um, anxiety and fear and stress about that. So let's move on to the third column. We see the, the ring card. The ring card in your know, automatic saying, oh, marriage. They're going to end up in marriage. But we have to really read the card uh, in combination of the, the, the cards there. So um, the first card is the ring on the third column. And this is, it means commitments contracts and promises um it's paired with the king of pentacles um prosperity security which means prosperity so, uh, security protectiveness or protection so um basically there is some s something uh some security about a certain commitment or contract that they have um the second card in the third column is the bear so there's a commitment or contract with the big boss uh maybe the big boss and abcbn uh this is a, a very um strong person powerful could be uh courageous short-tempered aggressive but this is a someone really on top of the ladder that really take care of their is responsible of their contract and this uh bear this boss um really si if you see the six of wands spared to the bear means the six of wands means um triumph or success or pride so there is some type of success in connection with this boss in connection with the contract that they have it should because we have the king of pentacles there and there's prosperity on that so there's prosperity in, in the contract and they're they're working with a certain uh you know boss or person uh in the higher ups would, would result to success um however uh, the the third card on the last uh column we see the whip card the whip card there could be some uh, arguments, uh, you know, scolding or position, objecting, bitter disagreement um, in relation to this contract. Why is that? Why is there objection and arguments? Uh, because of the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords in reverse means freedom, release, or taking control. So I believe perhaps you want a little bit of freedom. You want to take control of your lives. But, you know, when you are part of a very famous uh, love team, because in the Philippines, I, for those who are not Filipinos, um, if you have a successful tandem and they're paired in a romantic comedy and fans will go crazy, they will have the, 
there will be paired in the next show and the next show until you know if it's not that successful anymore so we see this this in the previous you know generations of actors and actresses and we call them the love team so uh, the success or the commitment um there must maybe some argument because maybe they want to be freed from that or to have some certain freedom or take control of that freedom uh so my question here was, will they end up in, will Donnie Pang Pangilinan and Bel Mariano uh, end up getting married in the future? I don't see that as a possibility. I'm sorry if I said that out loud. <laughs> um, usually I see a lot of emotions, a lot of hearts, maybe a, a heart card or, you know, um, but I see here is more on business and their careers and really the strong influence of their the company they're in bosses the contracts money it's more evolving around that um so if 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 you are a fan if you are a fan and you really want them to end up together you will see that you can feel that in their the way they interact maybe when they're off with you know if they have no um no jobs or no no movies or they're not filming are they together are they seeing together or they have to have this uh um seen on dates and being photographed it could be that they may like each other or, or whatnot or attraction um there is stability in that relationship that this the don is protective and and balance this young thing um there's some uh stability on that and how they interact but the future the second and the third column it is more on their career and their the 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 wealth or the finances it's more on on their contracts and their bosses so i feel that their life together is really centered in the fact that they are uh together as a love team so i may be wrong you know, I may be wrong. Uh, I love to see your take on the, the, the meanings of this card. You know, I may have uh, some missed uh, interpretation of the card, but it I sense that, uh, you know, uh, this is more on a business partnership or, you know, a uh, uh, showbiz partnership. Um, but, you know, uh, they're young. We don't know the future. We know how love teams work. I'm not sure the percentage of actor love teams end up getting married. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a hundred percent success rate or how many fifty percent or zero percent. So you be the, the judge of that. And please do like and subscribe to this channel if you like this reading. And um, there is, if you want to help out uh, directly, there's a link in the description to help me out and i hope you like this reading i'll see you in the next one bye for now